Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Adam Van Wert and I'd like to quickly introduce you to my new cell phone app called Science Dilution Buddy. Actually, I'd like to first mention that this this has been designed for um, all different sizes, tablets, um, small devices, and medium to large size cell phones. Um, the first thing you might notice about this app is um, if you already have downloaded my Best Serial Dilution Calc app, this includes that, that app as well but there's some added um, functionality to it that I'll talk about in a little bit. First, I want to get to um, some of the new stuff here. We have um, a solution from powder you can make. Okay, uh, If you're not uh, familiar with this, uh, I just want to quickly introduce you to the idea here of you can basically um, type right in these fields to enter whatever concentration you're interested in. Okay, what I like about the app that I developed is the number of units available. Okay, we have a lot of different units, so it's very flexible. I added deciliters to the bottom here because that's common for some pharmaceutical scientists to use, such as myself. Okay, so we entered the concentration, and I want to show you the way I designed this is pretty user friendly. So if you forget to forget to enter something, hit the go button. It's going to prompt you to enter that. So the, it's going to prompt you to enter the desired volume. So we'll do that, pick whatever you're interested in here, okay, and that's going to immediately give you your answer. So we're obviously making a solution that's a little bit too dilute, this is 0.32 milligrams, unless you have a micro balance, okay, that it's going to be quite difficult. So we'd probably make that from a more concentrated solution, so why don't we go ahead and make a more concentrated solution. And that's something a little bit more realistic, 320 milligrams or 0.32 grams, it's up to you uh, which which measurements you, you want to do here, milligrams or grams. Now if we pick moles, it's going to prompt us because we forgot the molecular weight. So enter that formula weight. Okay, whatever you'd like. I picked something pretty, you know, pretty realistic for a small molecule. And we get a very large value. Okay, but um, you can you can use that gram value, um, right? Uh, of course, if you're measuring a heck of a lot of powder, you can do that. So I'll back out of this one. It's a pretty pretty simple uh, section to the app here. The next one is dilution from stock. Now there are several apps on the market that do this. What's unique about this app is that you can automatically do unit conversions. Um, it's behind the scenes. You don't have to do any unit conversions on your own. So if you have a solution with some kind of you know unit like this, grams per liter. Okay, and maybe you got this from another university or a friend from industry gave you the solution, and you don't really want grams per liter. Okay, you want, for instance, millimoles per deciliter. Whatever, you, whatever you're interested in, you can pick that. Pick whatever value you want as the the dil dilution concentration. Okay, and then um, the volume desired. Let's pick something kind of random here, whatever you'd like. And notice we forgot the formula weight. Okay, so it prompts us for that. Again, I'll put something kind of random here. Okay, and then hit go. Notice, okay, we have very easily the volume of diluent to use on the right here, 4.934 milliliters. Okay, since we wanted to measure milliliters, it's going to autom automatically give us our diluent in milliliters. But then your stock, it'll give you in different units, depending on which one you want to choose here. We have microliters, milliliters, and liters. So you maybe go with milliliters here to make it simple for yourself. Okay, so notice um, we didn't have to do any unit conversions on our own. It was all done behind the scenes. Okay, so that's something that the other apps don't provide at this point. Okay, but what if you actually did have the same units? Okay, if we were going from, for instance millimoles per deciliter to what if you wanted millimoles per liter okay um, pick whatever number you want here but I'm just trying to make it uh, show you right from going from high concentration of course to lower concentration that's the only way to work and notice I have molar units on the top of both of these so that means I shouldn't need the formula weight so let's make sure that's gonna work and yes it works just fine so you don't need the formula weight, as you should not need it, um, if you have molar units on both sides. Even if you have a different molar unit, you still won't need the formula weight, okay? because it's all a ratio type of game here. So 
that pretty much wraps this portion up. Okay, I hope it's quite user friendly for you guys. The next one is my app that's already on the market, but I've added something to it that I think is very useful. So I've added the ability to export to a spreadsheet. Okay, that's this .csv on the bottom here, bottom left. So it tells you that it's saving to my files, which is the most common. Um, that's the most common high directory, the highest directory in the Android devices. If your if yours happens to be named something differently, then it'll save you know, to that one, regardless of the name, it'll save to the highest directory. So if you've never used this program, I want to show you how it works. You start off with your highest concentration, and then you go lower, you know, you're making, so this is the definition, right, serial dilution, you're going to use higher concentrations to make lower concentrations. So the one thing that's nice about this is you could do very irregular serial dilutions. You could pick any number you want, as long as it's lower than the previous. Okay, and it'll automatically do the work for you. What I love about this also is that you pick the residual volume you need after after you make the dilutions. So if I'm treating cells with 500 or 450 microliters, well, I'm going to need that after I make my dilutions. I'm going to need at least that vo that much volume to make this work. So you enter that, and all the work is done by the program. You don't have to do any of the calculations yourself. Now. Any zero dilution that you do requires you to pick um, which solutions you want to use to make the, the more dilute solutions. So you have to pick the first one, which is A, to make B, so that's already entered there. But for C, you can use A or B the way my program works, so you can pick whichever one you want. So you can pick A if, for instance, you spilled too much of B and you need some for the experiment. Um, you just you have just enough for the experiment, why don't you go ahead and use A. Um, if you want to use C for D, you can go ahead and do that, which is probably more common, right, to use the previous solution for the next one. And then hit uh, Calculate on the left. You automatically get all your numbers here. The volume, the total volume needed, which, um, of course, that's that's the amount you're going to need, but you don't need to know that to really do this. It's just kind of kind of to allow you to check the calculation, um, just to, to know um, what's going on, basically. All you really need is the volume of concentrated sample to use, which is right here on the second to last row, and the volume of diluent needed, the last row here, and you just measure those out, and obviously you're going to start with A, move down B, C, D, and be very confident that, that in the end you'll have enough of the residual volume to do your experiment. So whatever you picked up top here, you'll have that and I would encourage you to pick a little excess for any loss during the dilutions okay just to make sure you have that extra so you hit .csv again it's saving it to my files as my serial dilution if you do this another time it'll save it again and again you'll notice several files there um, so basically if you do any modifications of your dilution hit that button again it'll automatically make a new file with a different name in the same folder and then you can go and get that spreadsheet or that .csv file and open it with any common spreadsheet program to print it or modify it as you wish. Okay, and notice this automatically expands when you get rid of the keypad um, and this will automatically expand for larger devices like a tablet. I'm using the Galaxy Note 3 here just to give you an idea of the screen size okay, which is pretty big screen size but not like a tablet. Finally I've added the PubChem search if you're not familiar with this, this is a free website, um, government-run website, that allows you to look up chemical-specific information. I'm going to put in penicillin G here because I, I deal a lot with beta-lactams in the lab. Okay, penicillin G. And the advantage to PubChem, or the beneficial uh, part of this, is that you can look up solubility, you can look up stability, uh, log P, so if you're a chemist, I believe this will help you very much, and even if you're not heavily into the chemistry, you can appreciate having solubility information. So anything on PubChem then will be available here. This is within the app instead of a separate browser. Scroll down to the bottom, and that's where you'll find some of your solubility information. Um, if you notice, it says, please so show all subsections, and that's essentially where you'd click to find solubility information. We have a heck of a lot more information here that you might want to use, but as we might, uh, most of us might know, the solubility is, is one of the most difficult things to overcome. 
um, when working on something in the lab. So this will give you that information uh, directly without you having to kind of get out of the app. And that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I'd like to thank you for your interest in my app. Again, my name is Dr. Adam Van Wert. Feel free to contact me through Google Play. My email address is right on there. Um, you could also feel free to call me if you're really struggling with something. Um, you know, email would probably be the best, but you can also call me if you're really struggling with something in this app and you've already purchased it. I want to strongly encourage you to request new functions. If you end up getting this app, um, the advantage is I'm not a large company. I'm, <laughs> I'm a single programmer. I've just started programming, but I think this app is going to be quite useful. If you want me to add a function to it, I'd be very willing to do that. Um, just communicate uh, through through email to request that. Um, currently, this new app does not have a, a multilingual interface, uh, but I'll, I plan on adding that in the future, especially if I get interest from, from people around the world to make it multilingual. Uh, again, thank you very much. Uh, good luck, and have a great day.